Clark County is anticipating a huge surge in the number of residents aged 60 and older. Today, one in five adults is age 65 and older. By 2040, one in four will be at least 65. In 2012, the then Clark County Board of Commissioners appointed a nine-member commission on aging to address issues facing seniors in our community. The committee is tasked with implementing an aging readiness plan to support the older individuals in our community. Commission on Aging was chartered by the Clark County Commissioners at the time back in 2012 as an outcome of the aging readiness plan. It's basically a plan for the uh, older adults in Clark County, what we can do to support them uh, both in community and government and some programs that we could uh, move forward. So the commission is charged with overseeing the rollout and maintenance of the aging readiness plan. Because of COVID-19, 2020 was a difficult year for senior citizens. Some of the issues impacting residents included housing availability, access to food, and isolation. Part of that engagement is understanding what the impact of COVID has been on older adults in Clark County. The senior population is one of the most vulnerable to impacts from COVID. We uh, looked at two or three topics. The main topics were housing, what's the impact on keeping a roof over your head, uh, access to healthy foods, and access to services. So we had presentations from a number of providers, Vancouver Housing Authority, um, Human Services Council. We talked about food banks and we're in one um, today, uh, FISH. Another way COVID-19 has impacted seniors is mobility. Because of their age, senior citizens are at high risk. This has made it more difficult for them to get around without exposure to the virus. Fish has seen a severe drop off in older adults who come here to pick up food boxes, food baskets. They've also seen a, an almost total drop off in seniors or older adults who volunteer for fish. And that's because of concerns of, um, of COVID. And this has been experienced with other food pantries as well. We've been working with the Clark Neighbors Food Project with other programs like that, Meals on Wheels, to establish some COVID safe outreach and ways to get food out to people. This year, the Commission on Aging Committee will be focusing on the road to recovery after COVID-19. The vaccine we know is coming. It's uh, may have been delayed a bit. It might not be coming as fast as people want, but we are um, making sure that people, um, are the older adults in our community are aware of how they can sign up to get the vaccine, how providers can get a hold of them to let them know it's time, um, and to provide other information as well. The uh, impacts that we've seen on some of the service providers, we are working to help them uh, kind of create a plan. This year, Commission on Aging meetings will continue to be held remotely. Make comments by joining the WebEx meeting or watch on demand. There is a Commission on Aging site or page on the county's website. They, um, there's a link for the public to click on if they want to uh, hear audio only and they can, during the meeting, uh, we have a public comment period, they can raise their hand and be brought over to speak to the commission. And we have several opportunities during our meetings to do that. Volunteers have been an integral part of helping out during these difficult times. Last year, we gave out our first Silver Citizen Award to Evelyn Hallett. Um, and we want to recognize that she's a super volunteer. We also had a number of others who we gave honorable mentions to that are super volunteers. We wouldn't have made it as far with this community if we hadn't had those volunteers. For more information about Commission on Aging and to view meetings, visit clark.wa.gov community planning commission aging.